Our tip of the week this week is going to be converting a 3D document into a black and white detail. So to do this, we are going to need to create the 3D view that we are wanting to detail, okay? So to do that, we're going to go into plan or we're gonna go into section or elevation. You can do this either way. And you're going to draw um, a marquee around the area that you want to detail. Now remember, we do have bold marquees and we have skinny marquees. Bold marquees are gonna show us all stories. Our skinny marquee is only gonna show us the story that we're currently on. We can then right click anywhere and go to show selection slash marquee in 3D. Or we can hit the F4 key, will get us the same, same place. Once that opens up, you're gonna to wanna to take some time to orbit around to make sure what you're seeing on your screen contains what you want to be detailing, okay? And once you have that, you're going to right click on the screen again, and you're gonna to go to new 3D document from our 3D view. Okay, once we have that up and going, we're gonna to need to turn this into a black and white drawing. Because right now we are seeing uh, the colors based on the material and the surfaces applied to the element. So if we wanna turn this into a black and white drawing, we need to go into our 3D document settings. To get to that, we're gonna right click yet again, and we're gonna to go to our 3D document settings. Once we're in there, we're gonna to go to our model appearance. From our model appearance, we're going to choose to have our surfaces and fills shaded. We can do uniformed, we can change it all to colored, okay? But we're gonna be um, changing our model appearance to get to that black and white. And then we need to go in in our uncut elements, okay? So each element, wall, uh, slab, window, they are built with pens, right? So if we don't uniform all of those pens, we're gonna end up with different thicknesses and different colors. So we want to uniform our pin color, and then we're gonna set what that pin color is for our uncut surfaces. We're gonna to wanna to do that for cut surfaces too. So cut surfaces, what's being cut through? So in this case, it's this wall, and I'm assuming maybe this is a slab right there, or a railing maybe. Anyways, what's being cut through? Okay, and we're gonna change the pins for that as well. And then once you've done that, now you start developing the detail information that you're going to use. So we can now use any of our documentation tools to start annotating this and adding a level of detail to this 3D document that we are gonna to want to show. 